Hello, beautiful people. <laughs> Welcome to April, first of all. Happy New Month, everybody. I hope that April is nice to us all and um through the rest of the month as well yeah welcome to another exciting episode of your favorite podcast the journey called love it's your girl in the beauty i'm lola daisy and it's always always an honor to record it's always an honor to have you listen so thank you for coming back if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel i'm going to say it's going to be a popular announcement yes thank you subscribe yeah you're welcome thanks <laughs> yeah so today or more like this month we are going to be talking about communication and i promise not to deviate yes i promise not to deviate we're going to be talking about communication in all of its forms and whatever else we have to discuss around it i'm also going to be doing a lot of engaging things because i feel like we need all of the ideas we can get and not just mine of course so i'm going to be running um questions have people answer questions and then bring their answers here so that we all learn together yeah but today in this particular episode i want to start from the basics so i'm going to be talking about some of the things that are not supposed to be part of communication right like the wrong notions that we have as regards communication and we'll just go from there and build up through the rest of the month i'm sure that by the end of the month you would have been a better communicator so i think that what we should do is that as we are taking the episode be nice to practice because you do not become a good communicator like just by chance or overnight you need to practice so as we practice we get better learn what you practice what you learn and then get better yeah that's the purpose of all of this i'm not just saying because i like to talk okay i'm sharing all of this because i want us all to be like better communicators especially people in love relationships you know now i'm all for love so why not (laughs) all right so communication myth and i am going to i have like six listed i'm going to mention then explain a bit i'll make sure it's not long so first of all nobody knows what's in your head Okay, it's supposed to be a me, so that would be like, um, what, how would that be? Um, you, you should know what I'm thinking, or she should know what I'm thinking. That's not true. Nobody, nobody is a mind reader. I mean, you, he or she might be able to predict your action or your reaction per time, but it doesn't in any way mean that the person can read your mind. So instead of assuming that somebody should just have it figured out or that somebody should know, please ensure that you communicate so that the other person is in the know communication is important because nobody can read your mind nobody knows what's up in your head nobody knows what's up with you and another thing about it about this is that you might react to a particular situation one way today and then the other day you are reacting differently so that's why it's important that you talk about it so that someone does not just guess and then be in the wrong or something in fact don't leave things to guesses communicate something is up with you you don't like how this person is talking to you you don't like what this person is doing please talk 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 and talk talk see let them call you a talker to you no don't nag that's what i'm saying but talk talk about it so that's one thing communicate properly talk about it number two communication can get okay so it's a myth when you think that communication should be straightforward and it should be easy it's supposed to just it's not just let me talk to him and he talks to me and then that's it well there are times when communication gets really complicated they are hard conversations my guys like they are hard conversations and in the midst of that you might not you might even lose <laughs> have you ever been in a conversation where you don't even know where you started from again it's like ah well what were we talking about how did we get here yes so communication can be really complicated and it would be nice or it would be it would do you a lot of good if you are open to that reality so that when you get you're in that position you don't feel like oh you're no longer communicating this is not what it should be like no it is still communication and it's important that you're able to in fact talk about the hard stuff i mean that for a love relationship for example it make it makes it it makes it obvious or it makes you guys grow is like a growth thing you know when you're able to when come to the point where you talk about the ad stuff you talk through it you don't you don't beat around the bush you talk about like say it the way it is and solve it you know that's a very great um growth thing so 
communication can be messy it can get complicated it won't always be easy smooth and straightforward sometimes it leads to argument i mean you come to a conversation and you just want to say what you want to say and before you know it you're already raising your voice and say no no listen it's me i mean yeah that can happen so be open to that um reality that it can get really messy you should try to avoid this yes but then again don't avoid the conversation just because you don't want it to get messy communication can get i think i should say that again don't avoid the conversation just because you don't want it to get messy or complicated communication can get messy and okay the most important thing is how you go about it when it does get messy so yeah that's number two number three talk don't act okay there is talk don't talk there's also talk don't act don't think that your actions would make sense to me (laughs) don't think that okay i'm doing all of the things that a a lover boy should do she should know that i love her bros i don't know whether you should say it (laughs) so it's important that for communication is a myth when you think that yes actions speak louder than words i mean something that we grew up learning but when it comes to certain things or actions when as regards romantic relationship i would say like 100 percent use your words please because i mean i may actually know you know there are friends you have and they don't come to say i love you every time but you know that of course they definitely put you in a high position and they value you they love you and all of that but see when it comes to romantic relationship it's a little bit twist like there's a twist is a little bit um dicey in the fact that you have to actually talk and then i'm going to be more specific about the talking stage <sighs> please guys i know you have to when you're acting you're always in this person's dm you're always in their face you're always making the call you're always calling them up have you eaten have you pulled? have you all they have you that you have to ask i know that she's supposed to just know that you like her abby i know i get and yes she knows i'm sure she does but it's very important that you also talk say it right talk about it i like nobody okay so i was in a conversation earlier this week and somebody a guy was telling me that it's actually very hard to talk to a lady and i honestly understand i'm a lady myself so yes i get i know my gender very well (laughs) but then again i don't think that as hard as this rules out the fact that you should talk because if you do not talk i mean i have 100 percent right to say you didn't say anything so i mean there's nothing i can do about it so yes talk i think that the the solution might not be a perfect solution but the solution will be coming to the conversation with the mindset that even if i get a no um okay because i mean i already i i, I talked about this is enough the fact that i mentioned is enough so even if she does not see reasons with me it's okay so talk don't act and then also um, the other way the flip side will be that for ladies i think that you should ensure that before you put all your mind in something the guy has said something he has told you that he likes you he has told you that he wants a relationship there's so many people that are in relationship with themselves today because they feel like oh he's acting it now see there are a lot of sweet guys out there let me see let me break their uh, secret i mean what's that let me expose them there are a lot of sweet guys out there they maybe they maybe they use i don't know maybe they use it as a learning process to know how to be sweet to their wife in future i don't know what they do honestly but i know that the guy can be very very sweet and he has no intention of being in a relationship with you and eh, my sister is what it is so it's very important that you don't put all of your eggs in it or put all of your mind in it when he has not said anything and if you are waiting for him to say something it's looking like it's never going to happen you could ask him i really don't see anything wrong in asking and i feel like it's also a process to define the relationship bros what's up i mean you're doing this you're doing that you're being really sweet this is only a lover boy boyfriend kind of vibe what's up what do you want exactly do you want this or not or what are we doing that kind of conversation have it the nicest way possible but please have it very important all right so number four um that is easy it's okay to disagree you don't have to always agree with the other person okay the myth will be that um people think that um you, you when you're in conversation with people or in communication you're supposed to agree especially if it's like your significant other no argument no what's the word now no objection <laughs> nothing at all 
okay no problem is always your response while that is cool as far um you are peaceful in your relationship and whatnot it's also not ld because if you have an objection it's n- it's not healthy that you're not able to voice it that's scary all right so um it's the communication thing the way to go with communication is that you are able to speak what you want to say you are able to speak out your objection you are able to say sorry i get what you're saying here but i don't agree with you on this i mean the the calmest way possible as polite and respectful as possible you're not object of course you're not objecting and then you're raising your voice that's that's too much i don't know what you're trying to say but please that's over sabi <laughs> so object if you have to disagree i feel like the purpose of every conversation is even for us to come to a place where we are both on the same page however we might not always get there because i don't want to accept what you are saying you don't want to accept what i'm saying which is very fine like okay i wrote something down i said converse is a conversation is not a it's not a battlefield it's not war so if you're not understanding what i'm saying it's fine you don't have to as long as i've said it that's it don't 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 come to a conversation or come to yeah a conversation especially those hard ones with the mindset of he must come to terms with what i'm saying we must be on the same page sometimes being on the same page is is like okay he knows what i think about this she knows what i think about this and that's enough in some in some instances all right so don't it's not a fight something (laughs) yeah my my sister be coming down i don't know what i'm saying sister but yeah guys can be like that too so calm down it's not war it's a conversation okay i was in a conversation i think yesterday i like to make make examples you already know that by now but yeah i was in a conversation yesterday and i realized that it was almost edging towards an argument and if you know me you know how that i run away from argument i don't like it i don't have strength for it that's how i put it (laughs) i don't have strength for it okay this is what you think oh that's fine this is what i think and it's fine let's just let everybody stay with what they think so it was almost edging into and not like an argument argument but it was almost edging into like a conflict that kind of thing and I just said okay yeah i agree yes i get i get it i understand what you're saying and honestly i actually did understand but there was a temptation to make sure that the other person understand what i'm saying so but you know i thought about it again i felt like let's just end it here because if we're not careful this would lead to a misunderstanding that is unnecessary so be careful about that in conversations and in communication maybe this title of this should not be communication myth because i think i'm not talking about me i think i'm just talking about the basics maybe it should be like tips for conversation or communication but whichever way i'm sure you are getting value all right so number number what are we five is that say what is in your mind okay so this one is a myth this one is actually a myth <laughs> so say what is in your mind is something that ah people are ah, people post about say i'll come at ah, me i'm like that if i've said what is my mind that's it and i'm done and some people even use it as an excuse to to be like okay i'm being ex- it's just i'm just being expressive i mean i can't okay i, I use that word too anyways but yeah i'm just being expressive I, if I, once i said it that's all it's no more in my mind well yes i mean it's a very good thing to say what is in your mind but i think that it is bad when you are seeing what is in your mind without considering the other person's feeling how do i say this that makes sense okay so you are coming to a conversation or you're in a conversation and somebody is saying something and you you want to like you are objecting or you want to object you don't agree and that's okay or you are in a conversation where you really need to tell this person what you don't like about what they are saying or what they are doing yeah that's it's very important to have that conversation but it will be very wrong of you if you come into that conversation without thinking about what your words will do to the other person i mean if you really like that person if you really care about that person you would also think about that and you would yeah there's also an extreme like you would not you will not speak actually even if they are speaking actually to you that takes a lot and i mean god's grace and his help and all of that but yes it's something that we have to actually watch out for i'm talking conversation in general but i'm actually particular about romantic relationship and communication in it right so um you want to come into a conversation where you have to state out your objection with respect 
for the other person's feeling respect for the other person's boundary about people coming to conversation to spill secrets because they are hungry that's that's definitely not the right way to go about it so as much as you, are, you can say everything as your mind be careful to choose your wise sorry be careful to choose your words correctly so that you don't end up leaving that conversation worse than you came into it you for you and the other person so it's not just for the other person it's for you as well because trust me if you say the wrong thing they say words are like eggs right if you say the wrong things you don't just hurt the other person that's what you don't understand only if you don't really care about the person if you really care about somebody and you say the wrong things to them you'll be hurt as well so yes that's very important as much as you should say what is in your mind be careful that you say the things that are like communicate them in, in a way that you don't hurt the other person that's very important all right so the last one is is a myth right that you should always say yes especially when you're talking with your others I th- your significant other i mean i think this is similar to where i mentioned agreeing but yes it's not you can say no it's not a crime to say no to an offer it's not a crime oh can you come over to my place um not doing anything i'm kind of free today is it possible we see if it's not conf- convenient it's not comfortable you can say no you can state your reason if you think that the person should the person is somebody you can give reasons because there's some people that they don't actually you are not in uh, what's the word you're not you're not supposed to give them like you're not in the you're not ah uh, I'm, I'm, I'm losing english anyways but there are some people that you don't have to give reasons to right you don't owe them an explanation that's what i'm looking for you don't owe them an explanation there are people like that but for people that you owe an explanation yes why not say your no and give them the reasons make sure that they understand this so that they don't think that you're just being rebellious or whatever they might want to think yeah so yeah basically these are like tips like i mentioned more like tips than they are myths but i know that you fix something out and if you are somehow in the wrong from any of the things i've mentioned It'll be, it'll do you great good it'll be really nice to correct yourself and be a better communicator and as much as this is more about love relationship it also extends to every other relationship because of course communication is like the basis of every kind of relationship father daughter children parents siblings colleagues every relationship all right so till i come your way again next week guys take care of yourself communicate better practice you know practice practice do better with communication and be happy thank you for listening again don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel see you around it's communication this month and happy new month once again bye guys